So, back for more. Gonna start taking apart the front end now. Got these beautiful T3 coilovers to put on with top mount. So, gonna start taking apart the front end as it is. So, just sit back and watch. Hopefully, uh, the video shows a few things. If not, we'll try it again on the other side. I already know that I have to change the uh, tie rods by the looks of it and also the steering the steering rack boots but uh, see how far I can get tonight on this Bearings look good. There you have it. There's your strut. Caster nut came out. Pin is just shredded completely. Don't even know how I'm gonna get that out. That's good. Ball joint looks good. Again, this rubber boot's gotta be changed. Well, not gonna be using this anymore. Perfect. Look at that. Give that a coat of paint, clean it up. Ball joints are in the best of shape. I almost think I should just cut these off, but I'm not gonna.
Ah, uh, here we go. And as you can see right here, this control arm has been cut and welded at some point. So, all the better reason to change it out. Well, remove, well, I've removed the uh, front suspension. Um, the only thing I left for on there was a tie rod. So far, the tie rod is in really good shape. So I'll leave that, but I got a new boot coming for it. Thank God for Rock Auto. They got it when you need it. But have a look at these old arms here. Looks like somebody's done some welding on there. Cut them, added about an inch, and welded it. And they're not straight either. <laughs> That's kind of concerning. So we're going to be chucking that. Now I have the T3 coilovers installed, lower control arms installed, and I'm going to do the uh, the strut rod.
That's the brake lines. We'll get the uh, caliper hooked up here once uh, the new pads and rotors come in. That's that. Whew.